Okay, so I have somewhat of an interesting slash random story to tell you. Before that story time, I completely forgot to record the intro to this video. So sorry about that. But anyways, hello. Hi, how are you doing? Okay, now let's get back. So today is Saturday and that's important for this video. Um, well, it's nighttime right now, but this happened in the morning. So my mom comes into my room uh, this morning and she goes, you're not doing anything this week, right? And I mean, granted, I wasn't like I'm on a gap year right now, so I don't really have school and this is my job. So just in general, I have a lot of leeway with my time. So my mom goes, do you have anything to do this week? And I'm like, no, why? She's like, awesome. Thank you. I need you to go to Columbia. You know, like the country. And I was like, okay. Okay. When? She's like, mm, Tuesday. Okay. Okay. So yeah, my parents got me a flight for three days from now. And I guess that's what I'm doing. Tuesday to Sunday. I'll be there. You might be thinking to yourself, what on God's green earth would your parents need you to go to Columbia for? And, you know, it's a it's a fair reason. I need to pick up my grandma. So my family lives in California and my grandparents' house is right by mine. But my grandma is Colombian and she likes to visit Columbia every once in a while. The only problem is she has dementia. So normally someone has to take her there and bring her back. And someone took her there, but for whatever reason, they can't bring her back. So I need to go there and then bring her back. And you know, this is an interesting experience because I've never been to Colombia and I'm also going there by myself. What I mean by by myself, my immediate family isn't going to be there, but I will be staying with family that I don't necessarily know, but you know, it's okay. Family's family. So who knows? I, I'll, I'm going to try and stay safe though. I would be lying if I said I wasn't a little bit nervous. I know I shouldn't have preconceived notions before trying something or going somewhere. I should try and do everything with an open mind, but it's just a little bit hard for this specific circumstance just because of all the stories I was told growing up. So my mom would spend a few months every year in Colombia up until she was 18. The thing is this was in like the 80s and 90s when Colombia was literally the most dangerous country in the world, like highest murder rates, highest uh kidnapping rates like it, it was the most dangerous country in the world um so you know after hearing all of those stories it's never really made me want to go visit but i know it's completely different now i know it's it's super safe and i i have to go in with an open mind i'm just like saying this so that i don't like freak out because also i was not given very much time to mentally prepare um so as I'm saying it to you, I am trying to con convince myself positive affirmations. Regardless of whether I like it or not, I am going to be going on Tuesday, which is in three days. And yeah, so all I have to do now is pack. There has been a little bit of a time skip. Now it is Tuesday night. I am on my way to the San Francisco airport to go to Cartagena, Colombia. Say hi to my parents. They're right here. Colombia. Me Very big vibes, very big vibes. Um, I actually downloaded the movie um, on Disney Plus so that I can watch it on the airplane. Awesome. So I'm excited for that. I'm excited, a little bit nervous, but um, I'm ready. So I will jump forward to when I'm either in the airport or airplane. I guess airport it is. Here we are. Love it. Okay, so I just got through TSA and when I was at the baggage claim, I like walked up with my dad and the lady literally thought I was 12. Like she asked my dad if I was an unaccompanied minor and I'm 20 years old. So I was like, uh, no. And she felt really, really bad. And the baggage that I was like checking in was like nine pounds over and she was like, don't worry about it. I feel so bad because I did not, I didn't, I, did, I don't want to offend you. And I was like, oh my God, you were so nice. And that did not offend me at all, but thank you. Okay, so I'm low-key hungry, but high-key broke. And airport food is so freaking expensive for no reason. So I will try and find something that's not, that literally does not cost an arm and a leg. So I ended up getting a burger. I almost missed my flight because of it, but I forgot to record it. So it doesn't really matter. The flight went fine. It was, it was whatever. I am now at the Miami airport, touched down safely. Everything was fine, except there was 
one little hiccup. I was sitting next to this lovely couple, lovely older couple, and I was, I had the window seat. So I had to go up to go to the bathroom. And then when I asked to sit back down, the man on the aisle got up and I was trying to scoot past him and he passed out. Like fully collapsed, fully like laid full back. Um, and I did not notice. I had my headphones in and I was just like, okay, let me scoot by you. And literally like, he kicked my leg because he like fell and I was like rude, but I didn't really think anything of it. So like I felt like the like the kick on my leg and I was like, okay, whatever. And I like start measling by him and then his like wife gets up and is like, <gasps> and I was like, what the frick? Like I genuinely lost all social skills, did not know how to react and I just sat back down. I was like, I'll let, uh, I mean, I don't want to be mean, but like, I don't think there was anything I could do at the time. So I sat down and the flight attendants attended to him and everything was fine. I hope, I hope he's doing okay. I hope you're doing okay out there, Paul. Then I got on the next airplane from Miami to Columbia. It was actually a lot shorter than I thought it would be. I don't know why I thought it was going to be like eight hours, but it was like an hour and a half or like two hours, something like that. It was really, really short. Another thing I don't know why I didn't realize but it's like in the Caribbean and I'm no stranger to the Caribbean. I am Dominican. I used to live in the Dominican Republic. I go to visit all the time. Like I know the Caribbean humidity, but this shit was intense. I was like, I, I don't, I don't know. But besides that, I have never spent so long in a TSA line. It was literally like three hours, but I made it out. Okay. And I finally saw my grandma. <laughs> Okay, trick recording, because I'm not the best at sp speaking Spanish, just full tea, and you're going to be hearing a lot of me speaking Spanish. ¿Cómo estás, mamita? Estoy jodida, pero contenta. <laughs> oh, gracias a Dios. <laughs> Okay, I don't know what I was expecting Colombia to look like, or like Cartagena to look like, but it wasn't this. I thought it was gonna be like a small beach town. What the f- What? I didn't realize. It is so pretty. What the heck? Oh, like, I was, I was bewildered. I was gobsmacked. This was insane. My entire life, my family had been talking about Cartagena and like all these places, and I thought it was like going to be like, just like a beach town. I don't know. But I was like, I was so wrong. And I was pleasantly surprised because it was beautiful. Oh my, it was a little bit hot, but it was really pretty. Hey, okay, it's Kenny from the future. I'm editing the video right now and the video is already kind of long. So I decided to put the part of like, me actually in Colombia into the next video. So hopefully I'll have that out soon. Um, but yeah, thank you for watching it. I hope you liked the video. Please like, comment, subscribe. But yeah, next week's video, or hopefully I have it out sooner than next week, but maybe next week's video will be about me in Colombia and actually, you know, doing the traveling. Uh, but after that, please let me know what you guys want to see. Um, I, I'd love to do anything. Yeah. So that's it for now. I hope you guys have a great day and bye.